Lido's a software we're writing at the lab to design structures. We're also applying it to design heat transfer systems and fluid systems and, and all sorts of systems uh, that are of interest to the laboratory. It will help engineers because engineers currently use the simulation programs available at the lab to analyze a particular design. They know what they want the design to do. They know, for example, they want it to be lightweight to satisfy stress constraints. They can do a simulation and predict that. If it doesn't meet their needs, they have to go back and change the input to that simulation and repeat the process. Lido automates this process. Traditional manufacturing could be casting, where you pour molten material in and let it cool, like Rodin's The Thinker statue. Or it could be carving away material, like uh, Michelangelo's David chipping away. These systems only give you one material to choose from, so your design is very limited in that regard. Additive manufacturing builds things from the ground up, kind of like a child making a sand castle, just adding sand. Now we have the possibility of having every particle of sand be something different. It could be a piece of metal, or ceramic, or a polymer, or it might just be an empty void space. So this gives us all sorts of possibilities on what to do. Livermore is advancing this technology in many ways. One of the techniques that they're doing is miniaturizing it. So you can imagine building a house for an ant. It has all the plumbing features, has the electricity, uh, the air conditioning, everything like that. And now this is where we're going, is now we're gonna do this for an ant that is one-tenth the size of your typical ant, miniaturizing things. By doing this, we're gonna get all sorts of functionality in regard to light wave propagation, sound propagation, and things like this. By not having Lido in the, in the design loop, engineers have to iterate and go over and over testing their designs. So they have to, for example, they change the dimensions of the airplane spar to lighten the weight, but by doing so, now they've increased the stress too much. Now they have to go back and change the dimensions to something different, and they keep repeating this process. The lab's problems are difficult because every time they do this, they have to run a very costly simulation. Some of these simulations can take hours or days or weeks. So every design change they do, they have to wait that long to see the results, to see what the predicted design will do. By having Lido, we can automate this process and we can also make it optimal. Basically, anything that the lab needs that we find a need for, anything that people are designing, we want to enhance our code to help them design it better. <laughs>